So we're here at the 2018 RMIT Accounting Educators Conference and I'm here with Leopold and Leopold just tell me a little bit about who you are and where you're from. Um, so I'm Leopold Beerlein, I'm from the University of New England and uh, I'm a senior lecturer in financial accounting. And um, what I really do is I provide my students with virtual internship learning experiences um, so that helps them to get workplace experience without actually going outside the classroom. And that's a pretty important thing when you think about it because one of the big things we hear a lot about is that we want people to go out and get work experience. So how, how if you can sort of explain that to us, how have you done that? Um, so really what I've, what I've, I tell you how it started. It started with me telling my students go out, you know, get a job, find out what the real world is like. And many of my students said, well I can't because I have issue A, B or C. And I tried to find a work around how can I assist my students in you know, going out there, getting some form of experiences. And for me, a simulation is really able to do that. So what I do is I created an imaginary company with imaginary staff and backstories, and all of that is scaffolded in a little video story. So you have to imagine it's like a TV show with little episodes, and my students meet a main character and get emotionally involved with that guy. He's a geek, he doesn't know how to talk to me, but he falls madly in love with his colleague. So, so an accountant falling madly yes, in love, is that right? Yes. That's, but so that, this is very much a simulation then, isn't it? Yeah, it, no. it, it is, but the students, they appreciate the comedy in it. And, it's, and I can't tell you how many students email me you know, in week three and say, is he going to get the girl? I said, well, you will find out in week 11. I'm, is there a way for, for everyone out there who you know, isn't a student at, um, at the University of New England to find out if he gets the girl? Um, so they have to contact you. <laughs> Please don't contact me. No, there is, there is a way for, there is um, lots of information available about my simulation. Mm -hmm. um, and I can provide you links to, to that. Um, I can tell you, yes, at the end he gets the girl because, you know, what's a, what's a unit without a happy ending? <laughs> that, that is true, that is true. So, one of the things is part of this that I you know, really much like to ask is if you had one piece of advice, because you, you know, you're a senior lecturer, you've been doing this for quite some time, if you had one piece of advice out there for accounting educators, mm -hmm. what would that be? Um, my advice would be not to take every piece of student feedback without thinking about what it actually means. And I'll give you an example. Um, in my last trimester, I had a student who insisted that I should be fired because I have the audacity to require my students to continuously engage in their learning activities. And that particular individual felt in, the, in, in writing the evaluation comment that that's absolutely unreasonable and I have no idea how to teach because I ask students to help each other. And really telling them how to solve problems is my job. Now, I simply mentally reclassified that comment from the worst thing about Leopold's teaching to the best thing about Leopold's teaching. Because the student actually told me about, I forced that person to engage with others, to think about problems, to solve their problems, and I provided a scaffold to do that. So, to me, don't take all feedback seriously. You know, think about what it actually means and only act upon those feedback items that you think are meaningful. I, and I think that's very good advice. It's sometimes hard to get that feedback, but always you know, reflect on the fact that the students don't necessarily know the well, best way for us to teach. And, and I, under, I understand where the student is coming from. We, we are asking them to do a lot of things in a short amount of time. And all of their lecturers do that simultaneously. And at some point something has to give. And so I appreciate the challenge. But on the other hand, if you're here to, to, to learn more than just technical knowledge, you have to be open to engage in those sorts of activities. And, you know, <laughs> That's just how life is. It is. So, Leopold, thank you very much.